Hi there, thanks for joining me. So today we're going to be making some crafty goodness that you can use as a piece for home decor or for a gift. For this project, all you're going to need is a canvas, mine is 12 by 12, some red cardstock, a cutting machine or some scissors, a glue gun with a glue stick, and you will also need a pencil and a pokey tool. Okay, so to get started with this, we need to cut out a large heart and that's going to be our template. And then we need to cut out lots and lots of little hearts. The large heart I will cut out around about eight inches. The smaller ones I'll cut out probably about three quarters of an inch each one because we'll then mold and sculpt them. In order to do it, I'm going to use a scan and cut because it's obviously quicker if we do it via a machine, but it can be cut by hand if you need to. So if you have a scan and cut at home, you can follow the steps. We get it to move to its position. We go into pattern, into basic patterns. Scroll down until you find the love heart. Select it. We're going to change its height. It's got a locked aspect ratio, so it will change the width at the same time. I'm going to take that up to eight, roughly. There we go. I'm going to pop this so it's ready for going in. We'll set our height and width. Press OK and we're going to go to cut and then we're just going to pop our mat through and for this one we're just going to press OK and it's as simple as that for the main part. release our mat straight from the machine. Take our template here. And that's going to serve as our main template, but we need lots and lots of little hearts. We're just going to pop this in here. Like so. If your mat's not as sticky as you would like it to be, you can use a little bit of washi tape just to stick your paper down. If it's just running out of a bit of stick. I'm using American cardstock, so it's quite thick. I'm just going to pop that in. Right, I'm going to go back to the home and I'm going to select a heart again. This time I want lots of them, so I'm going to have to multiply it. So I want it smaller this time. So I'm going to take it down. And I'll take it down to about three quarters of an inch. I'll go for 0 0.18. It says how many do I want? Now I don't know how many will fit onto this sheet, but for now I'm going to put 30 and we'll see if we need more afterwards. A set. Well, I think we can get lots more than 30 in so we can go back. If you're working on a computer, you can do this on the Brother Canvas workspace and get it all sorted before you bring it to your machine, which is sometimes easier. You can also make these hearts different sizes if you want some variation on your canvas, which sometimes looks pretty too. Now, we now know we can get lots of these, so I'll put in for 60, I think. Press set, okay, that's lots. We'll see if that's enough for now, and we will cut. And that's going to take five minutes to cut out all of those hearts. Okay, so we're just going to release the mat, like so, and we're going to release our hearts. Let me just pull that through. I'll take them from here. So we've got lots of these tiny, tiny little hearts, and these will fill the large heart. I'm just going to take these out, like so, and take the ones off the top. So I'm using a 12 by 12 canvas here, so I've made the heart 8 by 8. And all I'm going to do is just put it slightly off kilter, so it's over to one side slightly, like so. And then very, very lightly, I'm just going to trace around it, but I will be very light touch on this. And I'm not going to trace all the way around. So I will trace to here and trace up 
to about there on the top of the heart and then I will trace down to the rest of it. So I'm just leaving that opening at the top to about there. So you've just got a very, very slight opening just on the top here. Move that to one side because we don't need it anymore. So on those smaller hearts that we've been making, we're going to take a heart and we're just going to fold it basically in half, just gently, like so. And then we can, if we want to, just shape those out a little bit, just to give it a little bit of added dimension, just rolling it round the tool there, like so, and like so. And that's just going to give an added little amount of dimension to the heart, like so. Tiny amount of glue on the back. We don't want lots. We don't want it sort of splurging everywhere. So just a small bead there and that will be plenty. And we're just going to start placing the hearts and we need to fill this heart template except for that corner because once we get to there, we're going to do some floating hearts off into the top. So just fold each one, shape it out and add it in. You can keep filling in those gaps. Just be sure that you're covering up your pencil mark because you don't want that showing on the canvas when you've finished. If it is, you will need to try and erase some of that pencil mark and it can mark the canvas. So you are better off covering it with the hearts if you can. Okay, so about a third of the way in now. So we're just gonna go in and just clean up some of the string from those the glue bits that are here. And we're just gonna do that. Every time we get to a third, we're just gonna clear it up a little bit. It's just so it doesn't put you off and so that you can keep perspective on what you're doing and also so that it doesn't get kind of out of control and completely sticky. So we're just going in, we just take those strings and just make sure you remove them with a pair of tweezers. Just keeps your process clean and tidy. Okay, so we're getting, we're getting further into the process and uh, I blatantly needed more hearts. So I've cut a few more out. So I think probably by the end of it, depending on how big your canvas is, obviously, and how big your template is, for mine, I'm probably gonna need around about the 200 heart marks. We can keep going as we need. Just make sure you've got plenty of the same colored heart or alternatively use different colored paper as you go through and maybe make a gradient, gradient which would also be really beautiful. And then just continue sticking them down until you've filled out the majority of it, stop in where we stopped on the templates. We're just filling in the pencil lines so you'll have a line across. Well, we're over halfway done now. And as you can see, you might be able to see as I'm going up here, we're starting to get less dense with the hearts. It's starting to become more free flowing. It's because we're gonna give the idea of it kind of blowing away at the top. And that's why we leave this open part here because you'll see some of the, uh, the hearts sort of flying forward. What we want to do is just loosen up the density of the heart so it gives the vision of having that space between them. So that's what we'll be doing from now on. Just loosen up your placing slightly. Okay, so we've got that side finished and now we want to go up onto this side finish. But what we want is that effect of some of them floating away. So we won't have that full circular uh, side to the heart that we've got onto, on this side. So we're going to be a little bit more sparse with it and you'll see how we go. Uh, so where it starts in there and there. So you've got your start and your end point. That's kind of the opening as if they're flying away through that. So that's how we're going to look at it. So make sure they're directional. The ones that are floating, they need to be directional as well. It's as if it's being taken away by the breeze. That's how we're trying to place them. And there you go. Once you've cleaned it all off, you've got a really beautiful piece of home decor uh, or something lovely to give as a gift. Thank you so much for joining me. It was a lot of fun doing it all. Uh, if you could comment, like, and subscribe, we can get more tutorials to you and I uh, hope to see you all soon. Thank you.